Hi, my name is Maya and today I'm going to show you how to color these cute images using Spectrum Noir uh, sparkle pens. And I started out by making a few samples and trying out what colors would look good with each other and then I selected the ones I wanted to use and I will list them later. Uh, I use, I'm using uh, Sheena uh, cardstock for this. It's smooth and it handles water pretty well, or very good actually. It doesn't buckle up and uh, it's not as structured as uh, watercolor paper is. Uh, and the way I'm using this today, there are lots of different ways to use <coughs> these pens, uh, these pens uh, is uh, I'm starting off by making the shadows around the image and where it's supposed to be darker. And then I take a lighter shade and I pull it out. Uh, to blend it and make it look a bit more dimensional. Often you have the, uh, if you want to make an object appear round, the, uh, the edges are a bit darker than the middle. So that's how you can make it look a bit shabby and cute. Um, and these uh, markers or pencils, pens maybe, <laughs> what are they called? Pens. Uh, they are water-based and here you can see I have a little uh, too much ink. Uh, when you start them you have to shake them really well and remove a seal and uh, screw them together and then you have to squeeze the barrel to make uh, the color come out and sometimes if you squeeze the barrel too much uh, it's... Um, there you can see it kind of makes a puddle so you need to color on another paper first to get rid of all the extra ink and then it will be just fine. Uh, but as you see you have, I have a pretty big area to color so it didn't really matter that it came a bit much color there. So I'm using a few different shades and I, as I said I will list them below the video so you can see but my uh, advice is to just try. You take one dark color and one light color and then you try to mix them and see what happens because sometimes you can even use uh, different colors, not just different shades and you will get like really cool effects. So uh, here I'm using a sort of beige color, I think it's biscuit or something uh, and I mix it with a yellow color for this uh, kraken. And if I didn't say it before, the stamps are from Lawn Fawn and they are called uh, Lovable Legends, I think, or something like that. And they are super cute. I love monsters. And you can color them up any way you want. That's the fun of them. So, <coughs> uh, for this one I, I made the tentacles be a bit darker and the body a bit lighter. And I added some rosy cheeks for this one. Uh, and this last one was one that I didn't use for the card because I didn't think the colors looked good together with the other ones, so I just skipped this one. Uh, and I'm not very... Uh, um, I don't color very nicely because I'm going to cut them out, so if something gets outside of the lines it doesn't really matter because I will cut it off later. Uh, and I also sped up this video, so it's twice the the speed that I'm coloring, so I'm not this fast. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So this guy I didn't use, but I did use the little hats that I'm starting to color in a minute. Uh, and uh, I made a card cutting them out and making a bit of layers with pattern paper and vellum and things uh, and made a, a little scene. Uh, there are other ways to use these uh, pencils. You can uh, just make the dark color and then pick, up it, pick it up with some water and blend it out to make a lighter impression or a lighter image. Uh, and you can also uh, scrib it, scribble it on uh, some uh, uh, glass or acrylic block or something and pick it up with a brush uh, and water. Uh, and you can use the clear uh, the clear uh, sparkle pen to pull out the color too to make it sparkly but a bit lighter. What you should not do ever is to 
put the brush tip in water because it makes the pen sort of suck up the water and it will destroy the, the ink in it. So don't do that. <laughs> just a warning. Uh, and when I'm done coloring I will just dry it with my heat tool to make sure I don't smudge it uh, when I cut them out later because I never let anything hair <laughs> dry because I'm pretty impatient and I want to do stuff all the time. I wouldn't be able to live without my heat tool. So that's pretty much it. I hope you got some ideas on how to use the sparkle pens and I hope to see you soon again. Uh, and please click like, thumbs up if you like it uh, and you can subscribe to my channel too. Uh, so see you another day. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great day.